Hey, what's up guys? Uh, it's been a little while since I've done a video, so I wanted to do a review on some of the products that I've gotten here recently. Um, this is one of them, and it's actually a replacement for the old D-Access that I used to run on my bike. So, any guys that know, or any guys that actually have black anodized stuff know that they eventually fade in sunlight and they start to turn like a purple hue. Um, and that's exactly what my old gas cap was doing, which was the driven D-axis. So, um, I decided to do the driven halo um, because I like the look a lot better. It looks a lot more sleek, and I think I like the way it works a lot better as well. So, basically, it comes in a clear packaging. So, I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, the gas cap's kind of separate from the base because you can actually change up the colors. Um, and the one thing that you can change is the inner accent ring. Uh, the base, I think, pretty much typically comes in black. Um, same with the, or actually the base you can get in any color too. And I think the same with the cap along with the uh, insert. Um, trying to remember, it's been a long day, so I'm kind of don't really remember what you can do or cannot do with the base. But this is what I did for my um, Raven bike, which is all black. It matches pretty well. The finish on it, I want to say, is kind of like a matte, um, and I'm pretty sure it's an anodized finish uh, as far as the base goes. the The cap is uh, pretty much the same um, as the as the base as far as it uh, as far as it matching. The cap itself, um, it's like a quarter turn cap. So what you do is you just push down on the center, turn it, and it kind of springs up like that. So I like the way it works a lot better. You can hear the positive, positive engagement. And then once you have it out, you can pull it out. Um, on the bottom of the cap, you've got this O-ring, which helps seal, seal things up. And then you also have this uh, kind of a guide that actually goes into, see if I can get a good shot of it. You can see a, a slot there, and that's what these actually go into. So the Driven logo always goes to the unlock portion, and then just turn it down. So I like the look of it and the actual function of it a lot better than the the old style. Um, cost, I think this was right around like the 150 mark. So price isn't too bad. I mean, it's obviously more expensive than your eBay knockoffs, which I don't really recommend anyway. Um, I don't know, if you're gonna buy something, buy something halfway decent, I guess. That's kind of the way I've always looked at it. It comes with the black screws, so that actually matches the base, which is kind of nice. You won't reuse any of anything off your OEM gas cap. Now, when it comes to installation, uh, you're gonna wanna make sure that you actually have your OEM one open and then loosen up the screws because if you have it locked, it's obviously not gonna come out because it's actually locked to the gas tank. So uh, pull that out. There's a little rubber gasket that goes around the outside of the OEM one. You're not gonna reuse that, so don't worry about it. Uh, this one actually has its own gasket on the bottom that actually seals it to the actually like filling neck um, of, the, of the inside of the tank. So you don't have to worry about any of that. There's also no vent hose on this, um, like with a driven, D-axis one, there was this little yellow hose that actually went uh, where the OEM hose went. On this one, you don't need it because it has some kind of weird um, venting system to it, so you actually don't even need the vent hose, which is nice. Uh, I really like this product so far. I've had it out in the sun. It hasn't faded on me, so I think maybe they changed up their anodizing process. Maybe they went with like a hard anodized instead of their normal. So, yeah, so far, I really like it hasn't given me any issues um, you know obviously I don't run pump gas but if you run pump gas um, make sure that you take it off and set it somewhere it's like don't set it on your seat because it's gonna roll off your seat I've had that happen you don't want to drop them because I mean you can't buy the cap separate but the cap is like 60 bucks alone so yeah if you have any questions on this let me know uh, I've got the, the cap from Superbike Unlimited and then I got the base from somewhere else because they were out of stock in a one, out, of one, out of one place. They were in stock in another, so I had to order them from two different areas. But um, I believe I got the base from Sport Bike Track Gear and the cap I got from Superbike Unlimited. So if you need anything uh, from Sport Bike Track Gear, call Dalton. Um, can't remember what extension he's at. I think it's like 221. 
but uh, he's a great guy to work with there. Uh, he's the guy that I call and deal with. I've uh, been to their shop a couple times to buy parts. Uh, Superbike Unlimited, basically anybody you talk there, talk to there, uh, is going to be a good guy and great person to work with. So, any questions on it? Let me know. Um, like, subscribe. Let me know if you want me to do something different with the reviews. Uh, any input is good, even if it's negative input, which I've gotten on some of my videos. So I try to fix things like saying um all the time. So anything else, uh, let me know. Thanks, guys.